Hey guys, it's Sarah. It's officially Halloween. Yay! The one day a year that it's acceptable to scare children, go to strangers' houses and demand free candy, pig out on free goods, and as Mean Girls puts it, dress in nothing but lingerie and some sort of animal ears in public. This is actually my all-time favorite holiday. My favorite part of Halloween, you know, besides the free stuff, is dressing up in costume. I mean, look at me. I'm Lilo from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> But that's not what this video is about today. A lot of people don't really know what Halloween is really about or its origins. Well, as your master of everything, I'm going to tell you. Today, I'm going to tell you the true story of Halloween. Halloween is typically believed to have started as a Celtic pagan harvest festival about 2,000 years ago called Samhain. That's actually not how it's spelled. I'll put it on the screen what it's actually spelled, but it's pronounced Samhain. The Celts would celebrate the new year on November 1st to mark the end of the summer harvest and the beginning of winter, which is, which at that time actually was a season often associated with human death. To witches and pagans, Samhain is called the festival of the dead. Hmm. According to Celtic belief, a quote, on the night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead become blurred. So in paganism, Samhain was celebrated at the start of sunset on no, October 31st to celebrate the end of the summer. Celts also believed that, quote, the presence of the otherworldly spirits made it easier for the Druids or Celtic priests to make predictions about the future. During Samhain events, Druids, which were typically a priest, magician, or soothsayer in ancient Celtic religion, would build huge bonfires where the people would gather around to burn crops and animals as sacrifices to the Celtic deities. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> and Celts also wore costumes that typically included wearing the skins and heads of animals, which actually is what us, the tradition of dressing up on Halloween came from, and tell you the truth. <laughs> and of course, they also attempted to tell each other's fortunes during the celebration. That must explain why a lot of Halloween festivals include psychics or mediums. <laughs> Which, which are frauds, but that's another video. That's a completely other video. Mm -hmm. During this time, the dearly departed were never harassed and their presence was never commanded. Mm -hmm. Instead, the spirits of the dead were ritually invited to attend the Sabbath or celebration, as it is called, mm -hmm. and to be present within the circle. Once the celebration was over, they relit their hearth fires, which they had extinguished earlier in the evening from the bonfire in order to help protect them during the upcoming winter. All sounds swell, but this didn't last. When Christianity took over Europe in 800 AD, the early Church of England tried to Christianize the old Celtic pagan festivals. That sounds like exactly what they did to Christmas, but that's another video. I'll tell you during the summer. <laughs> Eventually, Pope Boniface IV claimed Samhain and made November 1st All Saints Day to honor the saints and maiders, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, and decreed October 31st as All Hallows Eve, which obviously translated or became, gradually became Halloween. And 200 years later, in 1000 AD, the church made November 2nd All Souls Day to honor the dead. This was actually similar to Samhain in the way that it was celebrated with huge bonfires, parades, and people dressing up in costumes. As But this time, this was instead of animals and all that, it, the costumes were as saints, angels, and devils. And to put it in a modern context... Now, <laughs> I mean, angels, devils, and nuns are three of the most common Halloween costumes available now. 
So, anyway, the, the three holidays in a row ultimately became one three-day-long celebration called Hollow Mass. Hollow Mass, Halloween, Christmas, though, no, what are you going to do? <laughs> Today, scholars widely accept that the Pope was attempting to replace the earlier Celtic pagan festival with a Christian church sanctioned holiday. Since Christianity was widely known and accepted at the time, the holiday sanctioned by the church spread and evolved into the holiday we know today as Halloween. The end. There's the truth. Halloween was a Celtic pagan Wiccan harvest celebration taken over by Christians. And now Christians actually call this the devil's holiday. Like there's, oh, there's a video actually by one of my favorite YouTubers, Jacqueline Glenn, saying about how Christians today actually are against Halloween. And yes, this was actually theirs. They Christianized this holiday and now it's for everybody and they call this the head of holiday. Man, once it becomes available for everyone to do, they hate it. Either way, I'll join me in December when I tell you how Christianity also stole Christmas from the pagans. Ha! Ah, happy Halloween, guys. I'll see you soon with another video. Be smart, be kind, be cool. Bye! <laughs>